Kwon Tae-in, I am uh, Street View Estate. In this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, your branding and the uh, profile picture in, um, that appears in your uh, Street View photos. So if you're doing Street View uh, virtual tours for businesses, some of them want you to remove your name and put their name instead. Uh, so most people use the transfer rights in the app and I want to explain to you why you shouldn't do that and uh, what you can do instead. So what does transfer rights mean? Well, whenever you publish to Street View, your Google account name and logo will show up in the upper left corner or if you're in a smartphone it will be at the bottom of the screen. And many companies would prefer their logo to be there, so Google made it very easy. All you need to do is sign into the Street View app, select the tour, um, choose all the phot photos, select all, and choose transfer rights. Um, it depends on whether they have claimed the business, whether you have to type in their email address. Um, if they haven't claimed it, you type in their email address, and if they have, um, it will come automatically. The problem is that this method messes up with the connections. For example, here's a tour where the rights have been transferred in the app. Let's try navigating the tour. Um, for example, I want to go to the end of this hallway. And that's not uh, what I expected. I would, was expecting to be somewhere here. Um, let's try going back here. and. Now I'm at the other end of the store, so yeah, it just uh, becomes very confusing to navigate the tour and not a good user experience. It was, it's not the way that the tour was built originally. The only way to fix it is uh, for the business owner to delete the tour and for you to republish them. There is actually a way for you to publish from their account um, and that's what I'll show you now. So now that you know that the, uh, you shouldn't use the, this transfer rights feature, what can you do when people request their logo to be shown instead of yours? Well, the business could give you their password and you upload that way, but you know, uh, maybe they don't really like to give you the password to their Google account. And I, I totally understand that. So there is an easier way to do it. Uh, but you need to have go through for this uh, feature to work. I haven't seen any other platform uh, um, have this option. So you go into go through and uh, my profile. On the left side is a link you can send to the business owner. This is a unique link uh, for your go through account. So if they open that, um, they will have the option to give you permission to manage their Street View account. So that gives you the ability to upload tours to their account uh, as well as up update them in the future or even delete them if you want. Uh, and this, this doesn't give you any access to any of their other Google uh, features like Gmail and so on. When they give you access you get a confirmation email and then all you need to do before publishing is to choose their account. Uh, and then publish. The only downside is that you don't get the small attribution um, under their name uh, as you did when you used the old transfer system. So if you have already uploaded the tour um, and the business requests uh, you to uh, replace your name with their name then you need to go into go through and delete the tour. Just make sure you don't delete it from go through, only from the Google server. And so then you need to wait a few minutes until you see that all the panels are gone from Google Maps so that there will be no duplicates. Um, and sometimes it takes a while for, um, for them to delete it from all their servers. So then um, when you're uploading it, just select the, their account and hit upload. As I said, you will lose a little bit of branding with this process. 
so uh, one way is uh, that I suggest is for you to create a company name and logo for your Google account. Um, I feel this way the business will feel a little bit more comfortable with it and are less likely to ask you to change it. Um, but always be ready to change it if they ask. And you might even um, prefer to charge a little fee for, for doing this service. So that's it. I hope you learned something in this video. And uh, I want to say also, uh, I saw a preview of uh, um, someone had gotten access to the beta version of a new Street View app. And it seems like uh, Google has removed this feature of transferring rights. So maybe they're um, phasing it out since it's not working right now, or I'm not sure what, what it is, but uh, if there's any changes, uh, uh, if I get the new Street View app, I will mention it in the magic box. And uh, but uh, but the main point is that you can use scroll through basically. Um, yeah, if you have any further questions, leave them in the discussion. Um, the, I'm here. Uh, I choose this location because it's a filming location of Game of Thrones, where Arya Stark uh, was standing here with a hound. Um, yeah, uh, I'm hunting down some filming locations in Iceland. Yep, uh, so that's it. Bye bye. I have a small surprise for you. Since the forum at the Local Guide Connect website for the Street View photographers got closed, I decided to create another uh, forum. It's based on the Discord uh, platform and it's at forum.connectedpanels.com. So uh, feel free to create an account or, or log in with your Google account and uh, start a topic or reply to any of the topics that have started. So I'll be very active there and, and hope to see you there.